Holla holla, Talina9 here. I want to give a huge thank you to Mattel for gifting me these dolls for today's video. Today we'll be discussing the girl who started it all, Barbie. What is it about this fashion doll that made her a global icon? How is she still selling to this day and what can we expect to see from her in the future? We'll be discussing a timeline evolution of Barbie from her breakup with Ken to the time she ran for president. Are Barbie and Ken even still dating? And what was the controversy about side glance Barbie? You will not believe the shady things people are saying about Barbie Extra. If you want to find out all this and more, just keep on watching. Before we get started, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, turn on notifications, and subscribe so you never miss the tea on the toys you love. Now, let's dive in. From restaurants built in her name to parade floats, this doll has undeniably made her mark and become a quintessential to the toy industry. Barbie is one of the most iconic and longest running fashion dolls of all time. Many know Mattel has sold over a billion dolls, but did you know she was inspired by the Build Lily doll? Build Lily was a German fashion doll released in August 1955. And before Barbie launched in March of 1959, the US toy industry was saturated with baby dolls. Most dolls at the time were used to teach young girls about motherhood, but Ruth Handler, who was credited as the creator of Barbie, was watching her daughter play with paper dolls and noticed she would create adult characters instead of babies. Handler suggested the idea of an adult body doll to her husband Elliot, one of the co-founders of Mattel. And after a trip to Germany, Ruth Handler purchased three Bill Lily dolls and used her as the inspiration to create Barbie, which is short for Barbara Millicent Roberts, named after her daughter Barbara. Bill Lily was then discontinued in 1964 after Mattel bought the copyright to own her. Barbie has gone through several changes throughout the decades. About every five years, Barbie gets a new look. This year, Barbie is branded as bold and over the top. I'll be discussing the polarizing Barbie extra dolls later in this video, so keep your eyes on the screen. In an article by Daily Mail, they share various faces of Barbie throughout the years. Each different face reflects the popular and quote unquote conventional beauty standard at the time. The article provides details describing Barbie's features and how the year she was designed affected her look. Did you know in the 1970s it was controversial that Barbie looked forward instead of a side glance? During the feminist movement of the 70s, 70s, Malibu Barbie faced forward, which was considered a statement of female empowerment. No matter what face Barbie serves, she's always slayed off her competition. For the first 20 years of her existence, Barbie had little to no competition in the toy aisle. That changed in the 1980s when another toy company decided to launch a girl's fashion doll brand. This was the first time Barbie's shelf space was threatened, and if you want to learn more about that, be sure to click subscribe and turn on notifications because I'll be discussing that topic in my top 10 forgotten toys video. Alas, Mattel has been able to beat out their competition and Barbie, to this day, has a whole aisle all to herself. Following her creation, Barbie has achieved countless accolades. We've seen Barbie collaborate with celebrities like Cher, Nicki Minaj, Katy Perry, JLo, Zendaya, and more recently in their collector lineup of powerful women entitled Barbie Inspiring Women, Frida Kahlo, Katherine Johnson, and Rosa Parks, just to name a few. Not only has Barbie collabed with superstars, she's also had influence in pop culture. In 1986, Andy Warhol created a painting of Barbie which sold for $1.1 million. She's walked the catwalk of New York Fashion Week, has a restaurant themed after her in Taiwan, and in a 2016 exhibit at the Louvre Paris, Barbie was featured in a two-floor exhibit of 700 Barbie dolls. One of my favorite pop culture references to Barbie would be the SNL skits featuring Britney Spears. Do you have a favorite Barbie reference or memory? But of course, this much attention can draw criticism. Barbie has been perceived to be a poor role model, a stereotype, and more recently based on fan response, lackluster. Yet Mattel uses these critiques to fuel growth for the brand. Barbie has evolved year after year to better reflect the world we live in. A decade before the popularity of Instagram, Barbie and Ken broke up. Yep, you heard me right. In 2004, Mattel confirmed that Barbie and Ken split up on Valentine's Day. In the same year, Barbie ran for president and sported multiple wedding gowns. There's no putting this gal into a box. Unless, of course, you're her manufacturer, then you literally have to put her in a Never mind. In 2006, Ken was redesigned to quote unquote win Barbie back. Philip Block redesigned Ken to resemble songwriters of the mid 2000s like Josh Groban, Gavin DeGraw, and Daniel Powder. Seven years later, Barbie finally got back together with Ken. On Valentine's Day of 2011, Mattel actually placed billboards advertising the couple's reunion in major cities. Wow. Imagine having a man chasing after you for seven years as if the guys on Tinder could even keep interested with me for seven days. If I learned any 
big thing from Barbie though, it's that I can be empowered with or without a man. In 2014, Mattel launched an Instagram page named at Barbie Style, which is separate from the at Barbie account. At Barbie Style features much more mature and for lack of better words, fashion forward and stylish content than the at Barbie page, which appears to be marketed towards a younger demographic with fun, vibrant, and colorful images throughout the feed. At Barbie Style is almost as if Barbie was a modern day influencer. It features Barbie in top notch, one of a kind fashions that aren't sold or available to customers. The page makes political statements from women's equality to this post in which Barbie celebrates the time the US Supreme Court legalized same sex marriage. I'd love if Mattel released some of these Barbie style outfits as deluxe fashion packs. What do you think of the Barbie style fashions? In 2015, Mattel made headlines for featuring a male actor in their Moschino Barbie commercial, providing representation for male doll collectors. But did you know they featured a male actor in the 1999 Bowling Stacy commercial? This was technically the first Barbie commercial to feature a male actor. Additionally, in 2015, Barbie launched Barbie Vlogs, a series on YouTube which also brands Barbie's new media slogan, Pace which stands for Positive Attitude Changes Everything. Fun fact, Leanne Hackman, Senior Director for Global Content Strategy and Activation at Mattel at the time, said that she ran everything by her 16-year-old daughter to make sure Barbie was talking about things teenagers would actually talk about. The vlogs are very organic. I'll be discussing them more in depth later and the controversial topics they discuss, so keep on watching. In 2016, the first ever curvy Barbie was introduced, along with a taller body and a petite body. This was a major step for Mattel and pivoted the way Barbie is branded today. Barbie's line of fashionistas is, in my opinion, the most diverse line of dolls to date, featuring varying hair textures, skin tones, eye colors, hair colors, head molds, body types, styles, and even dolls with individual characteristics like vitiligo, prosthetic legs, and wheelchairs. Barbie has no doubt created a line of dolls nearly anyone can relate to. In addition to the curvy Barbie, the fashionistas line included different body types for Ken, like the curvy Ken or petite Ken, and very forms of expression to better represent the world around us. In 2019, Mattel launched Barbie BMR 1959, which is a collection that celebrates the fashion heritage of Barbie and showcases how current trends influence the brand. These dolls appear to be marketed towards adult collectors as they weren't sold in stores, only online. They feature higher detailed outfits and fully posable bodies, which adult collectors are quite vocal about wanting. The dolls are deeply streetwear inspired and despite having very current cultural influence, were hit or miss with fans. Many fans didn't appreciate the method in which the BMR dolls are created, known as pixelated faces. Pixelated faces is when a doll is made using some form of computer screen printing as opposed to a more painted looking airbrushed method. You can notice a slight film around the doll's eyebrows and eyes as if it's a sticker. I'm not sure why this method is used, perhaps it's more cost effective, perhaps it allows more detail like the hair strokes on the eyebrow. Regardless of why, based on the monsoon of comments opposed to pixelated faces, it's it's clear that fans do not vibe with this method and want Barbie to go back to the airbrush painted look. Overall, I enjoyed the diversity of the collection and I would love if Mattel featured some of the aspects of BMR into Playline, which I'm assuming is more of a budgeting issue than a lack of knowledge about what fans want. The line also features the first ever male doll with makeup, at least to my knowledge. I am incredibly impressed that Mattel took a daring move with this collection and continues to expand upon what works and what doesn't. This year, in 2020, Barbie launched a line of dolls called called Barbie Extra. Designed by the talented Judy Choi, the line retails at $24.99 and includes five dolls total. These dolls include Doll 1, Doll 2, Doll 3, and so on and so forth, each with multiple layers of clothing and varying textiles, different hair types. Doll number two has polypropylene with tinsel, while doll number three has crimped saran, plus different styles of makeup complementing each doll. Additionally, doll number two is on a curvy Barbie body, meaning not only is this doll line diverse in fashion, skin tones, and hair styles, they also feature different body types and fully articulated bodies that pose the knees, thighs, shoulders, elbows, wrists, and head. The line is already being met with criticism, but not in the way you might expect. Under a video shared by New York Post debuting Barbie Extra, one person comments, do they have the type that is obese because society says it's normal and healthy? Another reads, where is the mentally ill social justice warrior who projects onto everyone? I think comments like this are a testament to how far we have to go before 
for inclusivity and empathy are a widely understood concept, and exactly why it's important we have a diverse range of dolls. I'm proud of Mattel for continuing to produce diverse dolls despite the amount of trolling they receive for it. But why the playful fashion choices? While I don't work for Mattel so I can't say for sure, the choice to create Barbie Extra likely follows the rise in fan demand that dolls have multiple accessories, real fabric pieces, and meticulous detail. Does Barbie Extra measure up to the stiff competition of the dolls on the market now? Let's find out. I can appreciate that Barbie is reintroducing these types of fashion dolls into the brand. They all appear inspired by bold and vibrant colored fashions. They have similar joints to the Barbie fashionista body of the 2010 era. Fun fact, the fur jackets these dolls include actually has an inner lining fabric, and a few of the doll's necklaces feature metallic painting. I hope Mattel continues to evolve upon details like this. What do you think of the quality on the Barbie Extra line? Let me know below. In addition to their extreme outfits and posability, Barbie Extra includes a pet friend and extra accessories which corresponds with their respective outfits. The pets are made of heavy plastic and feature removable accessories. Additionally, all of their clothing pieces can be mixed and matched to create a variety of fun looks. Do you have a favorite Barbie Extra doll so far? Barbie has also created hundreds of different media throughout her time, from the 37 different Barbie animated movies to the influential web series like Barbie Life in the Dream House, which has made countless memes for Tumblr, Twitter, and now TikTok. Or more recently, the Barbie vlogs, which is honestly my favorite version of Barbie media for its depth and real talk about human issues, like racial privilege, being passive, and feeling sad. The Barbie vlogs voiced by America Young, the same voice actress who worked on Monster High's Howleen Wolf and Torlai Stripe, is a tad more stripped down and real, while maintaining the integrity of the fashion-forward Barbie brand. But how can they do this? How can she go from glitter and glamour party girl to meditating in TED Talks? Well, like human people, Barbie is multidimensional. What may have started as a single doll sporting a black and white swimsuit has blossomed into a diverse range of personalities, stories, mantras, and of course, dolls, to cultivate a world of imaginative play in which all types of people can resonate. Lover or hater, Barbie has undeniably cemented herself into history and has created a legacy that's touched millions of people's lives. While this video is more about the legacy Barbie has created and how she got from where she was to where she is now, I have more videos discussing some of the brand's scandals and controversies, which you can check out in the links below. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, turn on notifications, and subscribe so you never miss the tea on the toys you love. Thanks for watching. See ya!